Welcome to Let's Read Mobile, presented by the Boys and Girls Clubs of South Alabama. I am Bob Donnell. I am a priest here at All Saints Episcopal Church, and I like to read you one of my favorite books. The book is called Where the River Begins, and it's by Thomas Locker. Once there were two boys named Josh and Aaron who lived with their family in a big yellow house. Nearby was a river that flowed gently into the sea. On summer evenings, the boys liked to sit on their porch watching the river and making up stories about it. Where, they wondered, did this river begin? Their grandfather loved the river and had lived near it all his life. Perhaps he would know. And one day, Josh and Aaron asked their grandfather to take them on a camping trip to find the beginning of the river. And when he agreed, they made plans and began to get packed. There's a grandfather and the boys getting packed on their camping trip. They started out early the next morning. For a time, they walked along a familiar road past fields of golden wheat and sheep grazing in the sun. Nearby flowed the river, gentle, wide, and deep. At last, they reached the foothills of the mountains. The road had ended, and now the river would be their only guide. It raced over rocks and boulders, and had become so narrow that the boys and their grandfather could actually jump across it. In the late afternoon, when the sun was still hot, the river led them into a dark forest. They found a campsite and set up their tent. Then the boys went wading in the cold water. The first long day away from home was over. That night, Around the flickering campfire, their grandfather told Josh and Aaron stories. And drifting off to sleep, they listened to the forest noises and were soothed by the sound of the river. Dawn seemed to come quickly, and the sun glowed through a thick mist. The boys were eager to be off, but their grandfather was stiff from sleeping on the ground and was slower getting started. The path they chose led them high above the river, and on a grassy knoll they stopped to gaze around. The morning mist had risen and formed white clouds in the sky. In the distance, the river meandered lazily. It was so narrow that it seemed almost to disappear. They all felt a great excitement, for they knew they were nearing the end of their journey. Without a word, the boys began to run. They followed the river for an hour or more until it trickled into a still pond, high in the upland meadow. In this small, peaceful place, the river began. Finally, their search was over. As they started back, the sky suddenly darkened. Thunder crashed around them and lightning lit the sky. They pitched their tent and crawled inside just before the storm broke. Rain pounded on the roof of their small tent all night long, but they were warm and dry inside. In the morning, long before dawn, they were awakened by a roaring, rushing sound. The river had swelled with the storm and was flooding over its banks. They tried to take a shortcut across a field, but were soon ankle deep in the water. Grandfather explained that the river drew its waters from the rains high up in the mountains. They came down out of the foothills in the soft light of late afternoon. The boys recognized the cliffs along the river and knew they were close to home. Their weariness lifted, and they began to move quickly down the road. At last, they reached their house on the hill. 
The boys raced ahead to tell their mother and father about the place where the river began. But their grandfather paused for a moment, and in the fading light, he watched the river, which continued off as it always had, flowing gently into the sea. The end. Thank you for joining us today, and don't forget to watch next time. Until then, let's read Mobile.